Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter Barber. I'm a professional singer and music producer, and today we are back with another video for Postmodern Jukebox featuring Haley Reinhardt. I just made my first video for this ensemble just, I uh, think, a couple months ago. Creep. I think it's their most popular video ever. I've gotten so many requests, probably hundreds of requests to do this one next. So here we are, guys. This is a reaction and analysis, so I will be pausing primarily to talk about Haley's vocal technique, but also any other musical characteristics that I find worth commenting on, of which there will most certainly be some throughout this piece. It's a re really very unique and uh, talented ensemble here. Without further ado, let's check out Seven Nation Army Why, by the White Stripes originally, and this is Postmodern Jukebox featuring Haley Reinhardt. I'm gonna fight them all A Seven Nation Army couldn't hold me they're gonna rip it off Taking their time right behind my back So, so excellent. I love her voice. And I love, we have Vintage New Orleans Dirge White Stripes cover. So a very specific kind of cover they're going for. And you can feel that. God, I mean, is this not the most iconic bass line ever? I mean, this is like a Billie Jean level iconic bass line do, do, I think they're doing it in a higher key for Haley mm. do, 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 do. down to C sharp 2 here I think no I think the original goes down to B low B or maybe B flat this one goes down to C sharp um and Haley's voice is just stun I mean so stunning and so you it does sound like an like an old school like a you know, like earlier 1900s, like first half of the 1900s, 1930s, um, like musicals kind of voice, like a golden age musical voice. Um, I love how much control she has. I love how much she actually kind of messes with the language and the vowels to, to create her own unique spin on the delivery of the text. I think it's just, just wonderful. She's just such a complete artist and... That doesn't always come across in, you know, a one angle music video like this, but she is just wicked talented. I'm trying to get in contact with her to get her on the podcast. So um, we'll see what happens with that. It'd be great to chat with her about her vocal technique. Let's go all the way back. fight them all a seven nation army couldn't hold me back she's got so much sliding between the notes seven nation army couldn't hold me back there's like so much like like really loose legato right just connecting one note to the next all the way to the point where it's sliding between now of course this is not because she has a sloppy vocal technique it's because it's part of the style right she's she's adapting her technique to the style which really is what technique is right to be able to manipulate your voice and sound and vocal color and flex your range and switch registrations like having the full package of technique is to be able to sing multiple styles and uh, we're clearly getting that here they're gonna rip it off rip it off Taking their time right behind yeah. my back And I'm talking to myself at night Because I can't forget oh, Back and forth through my mind Behind a cigarette Oh my, I absolutely love when the piano comes in. It's so subtle. And he is playing, like, not just the chords. He's adding, like, dirgy-like harmonies in there. And I love how it's also perfectly lined up with what we're seeing. So we're hearing the piano way over in the left ear, which is exactly how it is in the video. I mean, this is a live 
Um, I, I see they have multiple microphones set up in the room, but I believe this is a totally live performance that they would have done some, you know, engineering and balancing on later. But what you're what we're seeing here in the room is is what we're hearing, which is really, really cool. And uh, again, that's another thing that takes an immense amount of talent is to be able to really nail a live performance. Um, phenomenal. God, I just love when that piano comes in. And I'm talking to myself at night because I can't. Like that second chord is so crunchy and like spooky, right? Listen to that second chord. And I'm talking to myself at night because I can't forget. Back and forth through my mind behind a cigarette. Just for fun, I just want to point out all the things she's doing here that's different or is not just like notes and words, like all the little things she's adding. So first she starts with a mm, going into this first pitch. Back. She starts with a tiny little vocal fry at the start and then a slide up into the actual first word. Whoa. So again, keeping the sliding connecting through my mind behind her. And then she adds vocal fry back into it and really starts manipulating the vowels on this last word. My mind behind a cigarette. Cigarette. And then lets it tail off. Through my mind behind a cigarette. And she puts she 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 actually takes a little she adds a little more breath into the sound so it's a little airier and she starts placing it way forward and like way up in her forehead and that creates this much thinner sound and with the breathiness so we get a totally different color from how she starts this phrase so listen to how she sings oh back and then how she sings cigarette totally different Through We'll get back to the analysis video in one minute, but first I have to tell you guys about Studio Brev. You guys obviously already know who Big Brev is. He's like taking over the internet right now. You've seen him on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. And there's a reason for that. Big Brev truly, as someone who has worked with hundreds if not thousands of professional singers at this point, Brev is one of the most talented, most gifted, most technically knowledgeable singers I've ever met, period. The guy can sing anything. He can sing incredibly high. He's a true reggae, real bass voice so he can sing super low. He can sing even lower than that with subharmonics and he knows how to do all of it. Big Brev has taken his knowledge of singing along with his wife, Jen, who is also an extremely knowledgeable singer and vocal coach and they have created Studio Brev. Studio Brev is Big Brev's private vocal studio where he will take his singers from beginner to intermediate to advanced. Basically, as long as they have potential, Big Brev is down to take them on. Out of the goodness of his heart, Brev will do a free consultation for anyone that is interested and serious about joining his vocal studio. If you want to try out Studio Brev, if you want to take your singing to the next level, if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with a guy on a path to be a superstar singer and musician, check out the QR code right here or check out the link in the description below and sign up for Studio Brev. As Colin McGinnis says, you gotta sign up for Studio Brev or you're not handsome. See you guys there. Now, back to the video. Oh, back and forth through my mind behind a cigarette. Phenomenal. this oh it is very old school new orleans isn't it this is phenomenal um also i see the drummer back there i know that's a joke 
Uh, I got a lot of comments about that. That's like a joke with this group that that no one comments on the drummer. And uh, I mean, he's very well hidden. You literally cannot see him in this shot. But I know the drummer's back there. So shout out to the drummer. You're killing it. Um, phenomenal brass section. What do we have here? We have a trombone, trumpet, and clarinet or oboe. Adding a major in there somewhere. The trombone and trumpet have mutes that they're manipulating as well. Phenomenal. I did play trombone for four years back in the day. Sixth grade through ninth grade. In ninth grade, I was in the jazz band. I decided I didn't want to get up before classes started to go, so I quit and was doing sports more anyway. But I did play trombone for four years. The boner, we called it. Canceled. I, love, I just love how much flair and her own style she puts into this. And she's changing so many rhythms. She's changing so much. Um, or changing aspects of the melody to put her own little embellishments on it. Um, it's just so good. It's so thoughtful. Um, and she's doing a little bit more of it in the second verse than she did in the first, right? Slowly revving, revving it up. Like the the amount of vocal colors that she's putting into this, then da, 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 da. then the full on growl that comes right after that. She goes from this really thin, like very heady sound. To this like false fold, heart almost harsh vocal growl, um, just amazing. Oh, also, you can see how I was talking about this in the live. I just made a video for Forestella, and I was talking so much about vowel shaping and mouth position, and how that affects color of the sound. This is a great example of that because for catch you coming round my way it's all very open and that helps keep the sound forward and bright and then when she does the growl she really rounds her lips to increase the darkness and warmth in the sound listen to this oh, Like, who says do like that? Like, that, that is her putting a flare on it. Do, do, would have been fine. She goes, da, da. Like, it doesn't, it, the vowel is nowhere, nowhere close to the actual word. We know what word she's saying, right? But that's just, just like, that's artistry, in my opinion. If you can, if you can do that kind of, kind of extreme change in a vowel or a, a delivery of a line and have it be convincing like you win you win the artist game I hear, but that's what I'll do. The grit and rasp she puts on those high notes is just amazing. Let's we'll see how high she sings here. From my pride, pride. All the way up to tenor high C. 
So that's, I mean, that's getting way up there in, in chest voice, even for a female singer. And it's still comfy enough for her to intentionally put rasp and grit into it and do it in a controlled way. Amazing. <laughs> Those nice soft glottal onsets, coup de glot. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Just phenomenal control. stank face I'm doing during this I'm just mm, mm. and then she goes and she scats wonderfully not trying to overdo it just the right amount of scatting right the right amount of notes where it's not she's just not a bebop right none of that just just like nice and thoughtful and well excellent <laughs> change up a half step yes trombone come on Listen to this, like, how the almost entirely muted this, this trombone and trumpet right now. There's almost no sound coming out of them. Opera. I'm gonna work the straw. Back to this down section. I'm not letting her get away. This is easy. Got to talk about some of the things she does in this down section. Far from this and so she lets it fall off at the end. All the way up to the G5 just for a split second. I'm gonna work the straw. Straw. The word is straw. She doesn't go straw. She goes straw. Yeah. <laughs> There's just so much vowel morphing vowel transmutation i had a term for that i coined a term for that on this channel at some point vowel good god someone who really knows my channel if you can find that clip for me i'll be grateful i'm gonna work the straw <laughs> or make the sweat drip out of that trombone come right there going to the final chorus oh trumpet trumpet God, the brass section it's it's so good her vocals are so good and the brass sections just popping off back there there 
it is. <laughs> favorite singers in the world after this performance i mean she was phenomenal in creep but this is like this is really this really shows off what her voice can do and must be some of the things she can do best i mean the 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 vocal colors the growl the grit in the high belting the the tasteful additions the way she manipulates the vowels vowel transmutation vowel transformation I don't know. Um, God, phenomenal. The brown. I mean, I was literally just. This two musician means you absolutely love what you're hearing. That's called the stank face. And man, I was stank facing it for the last 20 minutes. Just absolutely outstanding. I could go back and talk more and 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 more about the vocals. But this feels like I touched on some of the really interesting things she does and you guys can now take this into your own listening experience so if you enjoyed this if i enhanced your pmj and Haley experience please do consider joining my patreon community we would love to see you over there in the discord server we have a lot of fun and that is the place where you can interact with me on a daily basis that is a place where i'm most active i'm more active there than instagram or youtube comments or anywhere else um hope you guys enjoyed absolutely sensational please leave more suggestions i would love to make more videos for this group and i'll see you in the next pmj and or Haley video peace